When it comes to retirement, there are two main philosophies that many people align themselves with. You have the Boglehead philosophy, and then you have the FIRE philosophy, which stands for Financially Independent Retired Early. Let's go over their differences and similarities, and towards the end, let's talk about how to decide which one might be the best fit for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and away we go! Let's start with the differences. You'll notice that these all feed into each other as we go. First up is the main goal for each. They're both approaches to retirement, but they're different types of retirement. Bogleheads typically focus on long-term, passive investing, like in a 401k, with a goal of achieving financial security and growing wealth over time for an otherwise traditional retirement at a traditional age. Fire enthusiasts usually aim to achieve financial independence as early as possible. They enjoy a longer, although frequently more lean retirement. Many people usually have a fire number, and they're usually far more aggressive about their investing in wealth accumulation. They may go into real estate, building businesses, etc. to increase income faster or create passive income. They also invest in vehicles that don't carry penalties for early withdrawal, and many fire enthusiasts make lots of sacrifices in order to be able to hit that fire number as soon as possible. There are a lot of versions of FIRE itself, but I'll make a video specifically for those another time. The next difference, which I just touched on briefly, is retirement age. Bogleheads typically aim to have a healthy, enjoyable sum ready for them at traditional retirement age with no real intentions of retiring early. FIRE is quite the opposite. They invest and save very aggressively with the intention of retiring early to some degree. Many people aim to retire as young as 40 or 45, and sometimes even sooner. This is no small task and requires a ferocious approach to all areas of personal finance to achieve. This leads us to the next difference, investment strategies. Bogleheads typically just plug away with regular and consistent contributions to low cost, Passive investing, often focusing on index funds or ETFs that track the overall market. This is very much your set it and forget it investing approach. They'll use vehicles with tax shelters because they won't usually retire until they can withdraw without penalty. FIRE invests in a much wider range of income sources. They tackle businesses, real estate, as well as investing in traditional brokerage accounts that they can withdraw from at any time without the penalties that come with the tax-sheltered retirement accounts like a 401k or an IRA. Now we arrive at lifestyle choices. Bogleheads aren't in a rush and typically focus on a conservative spending and saving regimen while maintaining a balanced lifestyle they enjoy. They don't usually prioritize any form of extreme frugality to save every penny they can for investing. While fire fiends, on the other hand, often practice frugality, sometimes to extreme extents, and they also frequently live a more minimalist lifestyle to free up more money for investing. Aiming for early retirement means they don't have as much help from compounding interest that bogleheads will have. This brings us to our last difference, emergency funds. Didn't expect this one here, did ya? Bogleheads usually have a pretty standard emergency fund of three to six months of living expenses, which is absolutely healthy and more than enough. Fire chasers, however, can't afford a financial emergency sucking up their emergency fund and forcing them to dip into the principal that feeds their retirement. So they very often have a much larger emergency fund to make sure that they can cover absolutely anything that comes their way. They can do so without touching the funds they have invested. This is because they typically live off the interest that that money earns. If the principal goes down because they have to tap into it from an emergency, their annual income goes down as well. Real quick reminder before we continue. A like and subscribe are greatly appreciated and it's very helpful for the channel. So invest your finger right onto that subscribe button for me and let's circle around to the similarities between these two philosophies. First off, 
Both Bogleheads and Fire Adherents embrace budgeting and financial discipline. They do both have the goal of retirement after all, and you simply cannot stumble into that. You have to plan it. Both groups have some incredibly skilled number crunchers. Then you have saving and investing. The approach and frequency between these two philosophies may be different, but the base idea is the same. Both groups prioritize saving and investing appropriate amounts to reach their goals. And most importantly, those amounts are non-negotiable. They pay themselves first and invest regularly. Now, let's talk about debt management for these philosophies. Bogleheads and fire followers generally agree on the importance of managing and whenever possible avoiding debt, especially consumer debt. Consumer debt alone robs more people of their financial futures than anything else. Things like car loans, credit cards, personal loans, and more. Now, our final similarity before we talk about how to choose which one will be best for you is financial education. Both Bogleheads and Fire Followers are big with ongoing financial education. You can never know too much about how to be a good steward of your finances. Books, discussing strategies with like-minded individuals, and regularly brushing up their knowledge are common habits of both philosophies. So, which one is best for you? Well, it's actually pretty easy to decide. If you enjoy the work you do, and have no real desire to stop working early, if at all, then being a Boglehead is a great choice. Working can in fact be very fulfilling and enjoyable for many people. I myself am a Boglehead and I don't intend to retire early. I just want to retire with a nice chunk of change and I'll probably still make videos about finance and do other forms of work. I enjoy it. But if you don't like working, or you're deep in a field that stresses you out, or you don't enjoy the actual work you're doing, maybe you just really do not like having to work in general, then FIRE could be a good choice for you. Thanks for watching. Bye!